Welcome back to Dishing It. Okay, so during the break, Jeremy got the rest of the chicken cut up, put in the skillet, ready to go. The onions have been sauteing, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in our two cloves of garlic. With my favorite tool you have ever had. And have you bought it yet? No. I'll go get it for you. Next time I have a margarita, I'll online shop. You'll <laughs> online shop and get you one, yes. along with the meat. that for you? Oh, you got it, you yep. got it. No, sorry, you, you got it, yeah. Love it. I do love that tool. I don't even know why I got this. Was it on your wedding registry? No, I got this when I was a single, single gal. Oh. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe I was just tired. Maybe of the garlic breath was the reason you were single. Maybe that's why. <laughs> <lot. laughs> you know, I'll have to ask. I'll have to go back I through just my gum. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that for like another 30 seconds or so. See, I'm too lazy. I get the little jar of minced garlic that's already minced, you know? Yeah. I'm just lazy. No, that's a smart, smarter, not harder way to make food. Yeah. Um, do you wanna go ahead and um, yes, drain, drain that? Stuff? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little impromptu draining here on the show. Right here on Ozarks Fox AM. We're gonna drain these diced tomatoes that we'll be using. All right, and then I'm gonna get two teaspoons of the curry powder. Do you mind if I move this trash can a little closer? Yeah, no, else? please do. Make it a little easier. Oh, you can smell that curry. Just a, like, just, mm. <gasps> Smells so fresh. I t it's so weird how that smell as a child would make me ill, and now that same smell yeah. makes me so hungry. Okay, here's one teaspoon. Get it. Two teaspoons. That, and I know producer Jake loves curry as well. Loves Have it. you ever been over to India? No, I've never. You know what? I don't think I've been to India. I've been to Turkey, to Istanbul. Okay. Okay, what then, do I need to do with these? I'll go ahead ready? and take okay. those. Yep. Here you go. Wait. Get that juice out of there. You want to okay. throw that in there? Perfect. Yep. And these are fire roasted tomatoes. Those, that looks good. amazing. That looks authentic already. Okay, and then we need some Greek yogurt and milk. There's three fourths cup plain, okay, and a half cup milk choice. So I'm gonna go ahead. Do you need me to measure it. anything for you? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. It's a three fourths cup of that, so I have the half cup, okay. and then we could what, just eyeball? eyeball it from there. And this was a half a cup. Mr. Onion, get off the bottom of there, thank you. Um, now, is this the one to, tell me when we're gonna add it, because I remember reading the instructions that said take it off the heat when you add this so it doesn't curdle. Oh, that's true. Okay, so thank you for reminding me. Yes, no, I just remember that because I don't want any curdling going on. Okay, so here it says stir in curry powder, diced tomatoes, Greek yogurt, and milk. Tip, reduce heat or remove from heat to add the milk and yogurt to prevent okay, curdling. I'm just gonna put it right there when you add. Okay. How about that? Let's do it. And then I'll get this. I'm so weak, my, my hand was like, you know, work on my muscles. Do you think that little extra on top is more like three fourths? I think so. And if we need more, we can add. Ready, one, yeah. two, three, add. I'm gonna get this out right here. Okay. And also, fun fact, you could also use coconut milk, which I love, which I do sometimes when I'm making recipes, curry recipes at home. Okay, and then if you need more, I can add more. Okay, season with salt and pepper and Cayenne, so I'm gonna get this mixed up before I add all that. And I'll be honest with you, Mad, you know what I might do? Hmm. I might sprinkle the chicken with curry powder. Yeah. We are making curry after all. You might as well. It's terrific. It's terrific. Why do I have a feeling, oh my gosh, that looks so good! No. Oh my gosh, okay. Season with salt, pepper, salt and, pepper. and then what? cayenne, one eighth of okay, a I'll let you do, is there anything else I should be doing? Do you want me to rinse these? Yeah, let's go ahead, We're, we'll drain and rinse those. Okay. That's, those are chickpeas and green peas, because those are gonna be going in. I am so excited about this. Is, can I ask a producer, is producer Jake gonna try this? Because I really feel like he will, this is right up his alley. Okay, Jake said yes, he'll try. Because I really feel it smells amazing already. It just, I'm, I'm smelling health, you know? I do too, health and wealth. Health, wealth, all the above. So I need to rinse these, correct, with the water that we brought? Is that right? Uh, the chickpeas, yes. I might rinse the green beans too. I mean, the green beans. Green the peas. peas, yeah. Because I feel like. Okay, so then, Jeremy, it says yes. once we get um, the salt, pepper, and cayenne added, it then says bring to a low simmer and cook for two to three minutes, stirring occasionally until slightly thickened. So I'm going to go ahead and put this burner mm -hmm. on. Oh, wait, no. I want. That on like a two. Okay. That's the double one, right? Two. Okay, okay yes. Okay. So it's 823 now, so like two to three minutes from now. And just a low simmer, it said? Yeah. It looks that looks perfection to me, I'm not gonna lie. 
Is it okay if I put these in that as well? And yeah, we it's all gonna okay. go in here, yeah. I didn't know if it was separate or together. No. And then, yeah, so once that simmers, we'll stir in the chickpeas. Oh, we have spinach and peas until warmed through. We are, we are being so healthy. There we go. And then did you want me to add any sort of, of the curry powder to the chicken yet? Or are you gonna? In, yes, just a, can I set that over on your cutting board just so I don't want it to leak everywhere? Yep. Then we're not ready to add it yet, I know. Okay, let me give this a little flip. How did it, uh, how did it come out with so much water? It's, it's moisture from the chicken. Oh. We don't it's just a lot of chicken. moisture, which I can try to drain it if you'd like. Oh no, it's okay. I'm gonna try to put that chicken juice in with the other juice. That is looking amazing. Okay. I'm gonna try to. And some, here's some of the optional toppings. Um, you can do chopped cilantro or parsley, chopped <gasps> peanuts, Sorry. sliced green Sorry. onions, squeeze uh, fresh lime or lime juice. This actually, and then it says you could serve with cauliflower rice or what? Saved it. Okay, there we go. Less water. Okay, a little simmer down. Simmer down now. Yeah, it was funny. I was shopping at Price Cutter yesterday after picking up dish, and I was like, well, we need groceries, might as well. So I was trying to think of things we've made on the show, mm -hmm. you know, that are like not too crazy of ingredients. Oh, yeah. We've made so much, I really couldn't like pinpoint, you know, certain meals. It's hard to remember everything, because yeah. we made a lot. But you know what I didn't remember? I passed the shredded lettuce, shredded lettuce, yes. and I was like, oh, those sliders. Oh, Italian so sliders. Good. Those were some of my favorite. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add a okay. little of this. You're gonna get that, we're gonna get this simmering, and then when we come back, we're gonna combine it all. Mm -hmm. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna dish it up. Yeah, guys, so don't go anywhere so much more fun on dishing it this curry Easter edition. Yes, on this right thankful Thursday this. before Good Friday. Yes, all right, guys. <laughs> We'll be back. Let me get this stirred up a little bit. I think that's gonna be great. Yeah. Just the extra curry, you know.